Hello, I'm Robert Armstrong with Best Legal Practices, and I want to just take a few minutes to talk about something that's going to have a profound effect on your law firm. I'm talking, of course, about legal marketing. Now, there was a time when legal marketing didn't even exist, when hiring an attorney was the only way to solve a legal problem, and owning a law firm was enough to keep those clients coming through the door. Back then, there was no such thing as sites like Nolo Press and LegalZoom, and advertising was nothing more than an ad in the yellow pages, a quality brochure, and a few power lunches for good measure. Of course, those days are long gone. Today, legal marketing is the new buzzword in our industry, and it's got attorneys everywhere scrambling to comply. Do a search on legal marketing, and you'll find over 73 million listings on Google. 73 million listings telling you why legal marketing is so crucial to your law firm's survival. Unfortunately, no one's giving you a working blueprint to explain what legal marketing really entails. Different experts tout different strategies. Some say blogging is the way to go, while others say SEO is the secret to your success. And then there's social media, article marketing, email marketing, and videos, all with equally convincing arguments for becoming part of your permanent marketing strategy. So which one do you choose? Which way is the right way to market your law firm? The truth is, you need all of the above. A blog gives you the ability to add fresh, new content to your website on a regular basis. This shows off your expertise to potential clients and also makes your website more search engine friendly. And speaking of search engines, optimization is definitely one of the keys to your success. Eight out of ten internet users consider search engines to be their primary source for finding new products and services. But 85% of those users don't like paid links, and 75% won't click past page one. That means you need to be on the first page of the search engines if you want your law firm's website to be seen. And what about social media, video marketing, and all those other options? Well, globally, Internet users spend almost five and a half hours a day on social networks. One in nine of those users is on Facebook. In fact, Facebook has grown so much that its membership is twice the size of the U.S. population. And if it were a country, it would be the third largest in the world. Twitter has over 100 million registered users sending over 230 million tweets per day. 800 million users visit YouTube each month and watch over 3 billion videos every single day. And what about email and article marketing? Those tools help you get in front of this potential audience by promoting your new content and showing off your legal expertise. And we've just barely scratched the surface. There's still classified ads, online forums, guest blogging, and yes, even some offline marketing methods to consider, which is why all those experts can agree on a legal marketing blueprint. It simply doesn't exist. Legal marketing is always changing, always evolving, just like the industry itself, which means the real secret to successfully marketing your law firm is to stay informed. And fortunately, we've got you covered there. If you want to know what's happening in the world of legal marketing, just subscribe to our blog. It's free, it's easy, and it has everything you need to know to master the legal marketing puzzle for good.